If you do the seven things right, you'll get a product design job in Canada. In my previous video, which of course you did not watch, I shared the reasons for not getting interview calls. Watch it in my channel. When I first came to Canada, I did a beginner mistake before applying jobs without preparing well. That's why I'm making this series step-by-step -step process to get a product design job in Canada. So subscribe to get notification when I release a new video. Okay, let's dive into the topic. Before we begin, let me warn you, this video has a lot of in-depth knowledge about the design job hunting. So do not skip the video because you might miss out the valuable insights. Step 1. Learning. You might have worked in different countries as a designer or a fresh college pass out. It does not matter. You are new to the Canadian market. So refresh your knowledge. You need to learn UI UX properly before even thinking about applying for jobs. But what should you learn and where should you learn? Don't worry. I have attached my free YouTube course link in the description. Well, it is little known in terms of tools, but the knowledge you gain is timeless. If you want to get passes by the wealth of design knowledge, take a look. Smart people accumulate knowledge, but wise people implement it. That is when you'll start step two. Working on projects not only improves your skill set, but also gives you confidence that you can work in the industry. If you're an experienced designer, you already have worked on projects. If that is the case, just skip to step three. But if you're newly passed out student or someone who is changing your career into product design, I'm pretty sure you might have faced this challenge. What project should I be working on? Don't worry, I got you. One of the ways to find problems is to look at people around you. There will always be some issue bothering them, but they can't see it. Find solutions for those problems to make your projects unique. But if you do not have time, find the three website links in the description which will give you problem statements for your concept projects. Your portfolio needs at least two web and two mobile projects. After finalizing your projects, start working on them. Follow the design process you have learned in the course. Following design process not only will make you a better designer, but also there is higher chance of building right solution for your users. While doing the research, make notes, take photographs, keep your templates organized and aligned. Try using single font favor colors all over the design process. After finishing the projects, you can start step three, writing case study. Being able to tell compelling stories is a skill every designer should learn. With the help of case studies, you are trying to tell a story. You might have worked on successful projects, but if you can't explain them the way your recruiter can consume, you might not have a chance. Recruiters will look at your case study and gauge your knowledge in design. For example, they would want to know what are the steps you took to find the solution to this problem. Did you do research, etc. You need to write less but say more. In order to do that, use the images in your research, highlight sections, give spotlight to important events in the process. Think of how good movies and documentaries keep us hooked until the end. Try doing the same. At the end, show them the outcome of your project. Remember, first impression is the last impression. Still confused what sections to be in the case study? Okay, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon because this is going to be my next video. After your case studies are ready, moving on to step four, building portfolio. Consider your portfolio as a UX project. As a UX designer, it is your job to design for your users. Here, your user is another designer who is probably better than you. Your portfolio is competing with hundreds of design portfolios out there. How will you stand out? Dedicate time, plan and design. Remember, great projects are not made in one day or one week. Sometimes it takes months of work and learning to achieve greatness. So have patience. Do it one project at a time. Don't hurry. Now it's time. We need to buy a domain and finalize on which platform you're going to build your portfolio on. My recommendation is simply use Squarespace template. You can also use other platforms like Wix, WordPress or code it yourself. I personally feel Squarespace is simple to use and the templates are really good. We do not have to worry about portfolio design at all and it is super quick to build. At this point, you're all set for step five, making your resume. As I said in my previous video, do not overdo it. There are three main goals for this step. 
First goal is to create a resume that will get filtered by the ATS software used by the companies to filter your resume. You might also have already observed that on LinkedIn, there are hundreds of applications for one job. Recruiters do not have time and energy to go through each and every resume. So they use a filtration software to find right candidates from the pool. If you apply for the job with your cool Figma resume, your luck might not be on your side. So pick a simple template on resume.io and create your resume there. The second goal is to prove that you are a result oriented designer. When you write description in your resume for a project or your previous experience, talk about results in every line. For example, instead of writing, I worked on a real estate mobile app, write worked on a real estate mobile app resulting 10% increase in conversion. This proves you just didn't work but actually showed results. Even if it is a concept project, you can talk about the results in between the iterations you did. Just add numbers to it. They do not have to be exact. Even approximate numbers are fine. And the third goal is to make the recruiter see your portfolio. Many times when I look at resumes, the portfolio links are at the bottom of the resume or they are not even present. Sometimes the links don't work. So do not forget to add your portfolio link in your resume. And finally, don't do any spelling mistakes because this is bare minimum. If there are spelling mistakes, it shows that you, how careless you are about your delivery. Companies do not hire careless people because they need quality workers. Do not apply for jobs yet. There is one more important step. Search for design interview questions on ChatGPT or Google and keep them with you. Then, in order to dominate your interview, make a presentation about yourself, your work and one of the projects. Here are the three advantages you'll have when you go with a presentation into the interview. Number one, when you are presenting, you control the interview. You will let people ask questions when you want. Number two, because you captured all the important points you need in your presentation about yourself, you will not forget anything. Number three, when you are presenting, people are looking at your screen, not you. So you can be confident. But what slides you need to exactly add in your presentation? You will see that in my upcoming videos. So do not forget to subscribe. Now that you know why presentation is important, go ahead and create a presentation on canva.com. Going on to step 7. With everything in place, you are all set to apply for jobs on LinkedIn, Indeed and other platforms. You might have already messaged people on LinkedIn, but they might not have responded. Why? Well, there might be multiple reasons, but my reasons are 1. They do not know who you are. And the second is they are not confident about your portfolio. As you are prepared well now, when you send them a message on LinkedIn, there is a higher chance you might get a response back. Anyways, try to get a reference from someone in the company that will greatly increase the chances of your resume and portfolio catching the eyes of the right person. That's all for today guys. If you like my content, please click on the like button, comment and subscribe. This is Tarun Josh signing off.